people. Wow, 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 wow. Apologies. Sincere apologies. I know we've been MIA. And you can see it's just me today. Um, but I just thought, I got a breather from work and I just thought, let me just come here and um, take one for the team. As a team player that I am, right? Thank you so much for all the people that have reached out to see where are you guys? When are you coming back? Well, we are coming back. <laughs> uh, I want to say we're back, but we're coming back. Um, so thank you for tuning in to Chronicles of EP. My name is Priscilla. And again, Ewara is not here today, but I'm here to take one for the team. I'm sure you've seen from the caption um, what the topic for today is. You know, just thinking, um, what, what can I discuss today since I have a little bit of time to catch up with you guys. And one thing that came out, you know, strongly in my heart was um, this topic, which is what are some lessons I've learned? What are some life lessons that marriage has taught me? And we we're supposed to do this together. Actually, we spoke about this a couple of months ago, but our schedules have been... Yeah, yeah, you got it. Okay, so I'll just dive right into it. Um, you know how they say, oh, when you're in counseling, they say, oh, I mean marriage counseling, that's, that's premarital counseling. Um, we had two of those with two different set of people because I was not going to take any chances. Um, so a bit of context. Um, I was somebody who had said I wasn't going to get married because I don't think this marriage thing is for me and I don't believe the hype. It's just all hype, hype, hype. Um, so, and coincidentally, at some point, he had also mentioned that um, I don't really think marriage is for me. But my own reasons were because um, I'm a very independent person. Um... I'm a very um, opinionated person sometimes, and I mean, I hold my own, right? And why do I need anybody to come and stress my life? So that was my reason at that time. You can tell that it's a wrong reason. But another thing was, there were not a lot of very happy marriages around me, and so that sort of made me a little hesitant. But at some point, I started to see happy marriages, right? So, showing me that it's actually possible to be married and happy. And there's a long story. There's a long back story to that. Anyway, I was not going to take any chances. I needed to go to counseling. And, and I mean, he was saying, why do we need to go for two different, you know, why not just take one? And I was like, no, nah, we have to take it all. Learn everything that there is to learn. And I'm a very strong advocate for counseling. If you can, please get counseling. And not just from people who, I mean, I'm Christian. I love Jesus and I love my pastors. But there are some people who are pastors who do not especially know um, about professional counseling. Um, we were fortunate to be counseled by people who were professional counselors. So that really helped us. So in getting counseling, get from people Yes, people who love Jesus, people who know the Bible, but who are also professional counselors so that you are able to deal with all the issues that you need to touch on before you get into marriage. So let me dive right into it. Um, one thing that marriage has taught me is how to compartmentalize my feelings, right? So before now, if I'm upset, if I'm upset, you will know that I am upset. I must give you a piece of my mind. At every point in time, you must be aware about how upset I am. And if I'm upset with you, I can't have a conversation with you about anything else until we've dealt with the topic, right? So that's how I used to be. But now in marriage, being a partner with somebody who is also evolving, like I said earlier, um, I've learned to be upset with you about something but still be able to have a productive conversation so i'm upset with you you know that i'm upset with you you are aware but i'm still able to have a productive conversation about a different topic because i'm upset about a particular topic i'm not upset with the human being i mean i love this person but i can have a conversation about another topic a productive 
reasonable conversation where that generates results and then be able to come back whenever to this other topic. I don't know if you understand what I mean. Um, it's so hot. Um, so let me give you an example. I don't like to be kept waiting, right? So if we've agreed to meet at 2 o'clock and I'm there by, by 1.55 and you tell me you're on your way and you'll be there in 5 minutes and by 2.10 you're not there, 2.15 you're not there, 2.30 you're not there, when you come, you will know that I am upset because I'll be very, very upset, right? Uh, and before, I can even say, I can even just leave. Just leave and say, that's the end. We're not even going again. We're not, I, I, don't want, I don't know you again. That's the end. But now, I think I'm a little bit more patient too. So that's another thing, patience. Um, but now I'm able to... I don't know. It depends, Shai. It depends on the situation. But I'm, I'm able to maybe wait for you. And even after that, try to have a conversation with you about it. To say, I'm upset about this. And then you are, you are saying you're apologetic, you're apologetic. And while I'm still upset about being kept waiting, I'm still able to say, okay, you know we were supposed to do this um, on our way to this person's place. What's the plan for that? Okay, I think we should do this and do that and do that. And have a different conversation, you know, a productive one. I'm able to do that now. And I've seen that this has translated to my office work, to church, to other aspects of my life before cut them off everybody shut down that's it the end move on but now um i think I'm a, I'm a lot more patient a lot more personable things that i would not accept i still would not accept nonsense don't get me wrong i still would not accept nonsense at any point in any way you know however i'm able to move beyond how i feel in a particular time at a particular time um so yeah that's something that marriage has taught me um so i'm 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 able to be upset but still be productive before when i'm upset my entire day is ruined but now i can be upset i still carry on with a productive day carry on with a productive meeting without transferring aggression that's something marriage has taught me and i'm very grateful for that um another thing like i said is patience um I'm still working on it. I'm still working on it, but you know, we're, we're getting there. Then another thing is um, not nitpicking everything. So I have things that upset me. Um, my husband knows, knows the things that upset me. A lot, of, a lot of people that are around me know the things that upset me. Um, but <laughs> now those things still upset me very much however i don't need to speak at everything that upsets me so because i know that this person is not trying to offend me this person is not trying to intentionally do me harm what i do now is when you do something that offends me you you yourself you know that ah this thing hey she's gonna she's gonna say something she's gonna she's gonna come down hard at me on me whatever there are some times when I just decide not to say anything. And I don't decide not to say anything because I'm planning evil. No. I don't say anything because I can see that you already know that what you did was wrong. You already know. So there's no point now, you know, hammering at the at it or nagging you or before. <laughs> Whether you know or you don't know, I must still let you know. You still gotta know. Right? But now... I'm a lot nicer. I'm a lot softer. Mm, yes, I think I think so. I think so. I think it also comes with maturity, right? Um, things are ordinarily before we be. I'll be screaming. I'll be screaming. How dare you? What do you mean? Who is that? Sometimes I just don't say anything, right? And this person is like, "Are you upset?" Yes, of course I'm upset. But I'm not gonna say anything because you already like. What's my shouting going to do? I feel like you already know what you have done. So that's another thing that... See how sweet... See how... So I'm just sweaty anyhow. Yeah. Those are some of the things that marriage has taught me. Like life lessons that I can translate into other aspects of my life, right? So not just like in my marital life, but also in my spiritual work with God. 
in my career like in office proper office setting where i'm a no-nonsense choleric um yeah uh so marriage has taught me a few things um if you don't mind would you share as well in the comment section what marriage has taught you thank you so much for watching uh if you like this video please share and leave a comment um uh, see you next time bye